There's this meme going viral comparing New York Asians versus California Asians. Let's see what we think is true or false about it. Let's talk about it. Yeah, this went viral on Asians with attitude. I don't think this is too serious of a thing right now, but it is worth discussing because, you know, it's just funny. It's just like an internal Asian lunchroom discussion. Mm. Andrew, at the top, it has Asians in New York, you know, Stuyvesant High School, <laughs> people who look like they're working on like robotics, AI, equations, Some big algorithms. nerd energy up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I want to say, is that Bobby Lee's scene from Harold yeah. and Kumar? That's the top Asians in New York, Asians in California, Andrew. We've got a bunch of Kevin wins. I don't know. I want to say that's Lambdas from a state school, possibly. Then, when, of course, we've got some Crips in the corner. That's a little bit more extreme. We've got uh, ABGs with the enhancements with the mm. Boba. And, of course, we've got Kevin Wynn with the tight Unico right, Supima right. cotton black tee with the iced out chain. All right, we're going to talk about what people are discussing about this meme, why it went viral, and us having been on both sides in California and New York, what do we personally think and why do we think maybe there's a shred of truth, but not, it's not really that true. But anyways, hit that like button, check out other episodes of the Hot Pop Boys. Definitely check out Smala Sauce. This is a very delicious finishing oil. It's shipping out right now, made with real truffle, made in the USA. I mean, the meme is super extreme, right? And it's super lopsided. But at the same time, is that what makes a viral meme? Like people kind of like the exact, it's sort of like doing comedy when you're making fun of something, you exaggerate it for the humor and the virality. Yeah, it's polarizing for sure. I mean, I guess what they're trying to say is that what? Asians in New York, generally more studious, higher population of what? Chinese? Asians. Yeah. And well, there's right? a lot more elite academic institutions. All the Ivy right. League schools are located in the right. Northeast. I want to say like... 70% of America's yeah. elite college institutions are in the Northeast. I mean, let's just talk about why it may be perceived to be more studious is if you're just talking about New York City, it's a very dense area. There is a lot of colleges, hundreds of colleges, mm -hmm. also some very elite public high schools you have to test into like Stuyvesant, Bronx Science, Brooklyn Tech. We have friends who went there, but as you know that, I mean, if you go there, I believe yeah. most of the kids are Asian. And I just <laughs> think on the East Coast in general, people tend to be more tapped into old world paths to success, mm. which is get a really good elite academic institution, get a really high rank job in private equity or fortune 100 company and get, get money yeah. that way. Right. I think the West coast is tends to be a little bit more free and it's almost like going to new industries or different things or small yeah. business. I or mean, like, you literally like no one in New York has like space for a farm, but like I've, you can literally still farm in California. And, and by Anyways. the way, it is California agents versus New York. So it's like New York is really, I almost want to say they're referring to like midtown Manhattan. Like, you know I what guess. I mean? And versus like, of course, like, like we said, the outcomes from a Stuyvesant high school. And if you go into just visually look at the student groups, it's going to look way different than a high school in like Stockton or Fresno or East mm -hmm. San Jose or something like yeah. that for sure. I mean, I'm not, I kind of is starting to look like a Chinese versus Southeast Asian meme. Like, oh, this is what Chinese people are like. This is what Southeast Asians are like. Obviously there's a lot of people that disagree in the comments section. But uh, what I think that is uh, completely like kind of off is that, well, I guess- that, yeah, even though the Kevin Wynn and ABG aesthetic definitely come from California, 100%, right? right. It, Specifically more, I want to say from Viet's, right? Yeah, Vietnamese. I think Vietnamese, uh, it, it's them, obviously Kevin Wynn, Jenny Tran, those are Viet names. So um, they are credited for that, but I think it's it, it's just like, I'll, I'll, obviously a lot of people in California have that aesthetic now versus really being, I that, guess, that stemming aesthetic from is that much life. more popular on the West Coast than on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, just California has way more Asians, period. Right. Way more types of Asians. By the way, there is more... Kevin Wynn, Jennifer Tran in like Dorchester, Boston, or um, yeah. uh, Kensington, you know, Philadelphia. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but just not New York, Manhattan as yeah, much. Yeah, we're just talking about New York. And then, uh, so that's why the meme is funny. Um, obviously, all the pictures from the Cali Asians, I think that they are literally California Asians. Well, I think the, a lot of the pictures they use for New York Asians, those are not all New York Asians. That's like I, I think the bottom middle one from Singapore, maybe. Yeah. But uh, I'm not going to lie. There's some people in New York who look like that. I will say this. To, to defend New York real quick, I think that a lot of people forget, and I think perception-wise from the outside, it looks more studious, Ivy League Asian, which there are a lot of in New York, obviously. Buttoned up. Yeah, but what there is also a lot, there is a lot of Asians living in poverty in New York. Chinese even living in poverty, 22%, mm. right? One in four Asian adults is still live in poverty. So it's like, New York kind of has everything, right. still a little bit, but I think the perception and the media and what you see is the more college Well, yeah, I, to be honest, as Chinese, I'm gonna speak on it, impoverished Chinese typically more wear something that looks almost like Old Navy than like street clothes. Right. Do you know right. what I'm saying? Like just to give people an idea, they don't necessarily 
go, oh, I'm at poverty. I go into like the, sh right. the street look. Yeah, but as we see in the comment section, not all Southeast Asians want to be, you know, depicted only as like, you know, Gangsters. Right, right. This was this was a very extreme meme. Yeah. And that's I why mean, it went viral, and that's why it's funny, but it's also ridiculous, and other people were mad at it. Anyway, let's just get into the comment section, Andrew. Somebody said, so we're either gangsters or nerds. Asians have to be one of those two things. That is so stupid. <laughs> um, but do, does the meme go viral if it doesn't pick the extremes? Uh, it's a polarizing meme, man. That's that's what it is. Yeah, it was like either MIT or the Crips. You're gonna be so, like, someone said, I feel like California Asians got equally both. I don't know if it's 50-50 both, but they definitely have a large amount of both. Right, like, like both Silicon have, Valley, all the suburbs oh. in the Bay Area. Th those are different than... I mean, you know, like, you know what I mean? Or even different, like Irvine is different than Long Beach. Cupertino, right. San Mateo. What are we talking about? Milpitas Asian? Right. Like, but maybe is the meme basically talking about like the type that only exists there? Yeah, because so, obviously, of course, everywhere has everything, right? It's just about distribution ratios. And it can even vary depending on like what part of San Jose you're looking at. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if, if you're comparing a, a high school from Stockton, California or San Jose, California, and you're comparing it to Stuyvesant High School, I guess in that sense, that meme looks more true. Right, right, right. But there's it's, a lot more. If you look at it like an Asian high school in Flushing, they do have Asian yeah. gang activity there. Yes. I mean, basically, you're cherry picking for the meme, but it's funny. Somebody said the disrespect to NYC Asians on this one is crazy. Other people said false. Just be said, hey, don't get it twisted too. I mean, I think they're almost comparing like midtown transplants from elite institutions. But yeah, once you get into the boroughs, in New York, it is different. Right, right, right. Like, they're the more localized, right? Somebody said East Asians versus Southeast Asians. Somebody said STFU. It's always fools who ain't been about that life, always speaking on it to try to divide us the most. Mm. Is this a divisive meme? Can it be perceived as divisive? Ah. You know, it's a meme for a reason. It's supposed to be fun. You know what it is? I hope that it sparks discussion and people just have more understanding and yeah. more camaraderie from it. But, of course, everybody's different. Like, yes. you're born into a different family than me. Even two siblings in a family can have different identities. I mean, why are we talking about it? Why are we spending time breaking down a meme? Because I do think it deserves some explanation. Right? Somebody said, So that's why you come to us. Because we will spend no. 10 minutes explaining <laughs> the Asians with Attitudes meme. Right. We will take something... <laughs> that other people will just do as a throwaway comment for their day. And we'll sit and we will analyze it and let it marinate. Somebody said, nah, church Asians on top, dropout Asians on bottom. Someone said more like education focused Asians versus bout that life Asians, glee club Asians versus hood build Asians. Somebody said no career oriented Asians versus live for the moment Asians. Mm. Obviously, Andrew, everybody has both, right? Yeah. Even, I mean, even within the family, I always tell people, Depending on, you know what I mean? Like some families are more variable than others. Yeah. Other families have more like standardized outputs for the kids. Even a brother and a sister, one could be about that life and the other one could really be about the books, Fortune 100, 401k life. Yeah, I thought this comment was really interesting. This guy said, uh, damn, what's more accurate is that you got both Asians kicking it with each other and sometimes they're the same person. Some people that were hard and in the streets when they were younger are now cleaned up and studious. Same is true for the opposite. And he says, I know a lot of Viets that in SoCal and NorCal and we all grew up going to ancestor honoring parties and stuff uh and same goes for koreans and every other asian well well this person's saying that he's seen people flip archetypes yeah. like they grew up in the streets and became a geek or they were geeks and then like they're getting full sleeve tats at like 40 and you're kevin win when you're younger and then you grow up and you become kevin kevin lynn <laughs> <laughs> or Kevin the Kim. founder, tech founder. Yeah. Um, somebody said, ha, 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 as a New York Asian, I attest to this statement. Have you seen those international students in NYC? It's a meme. As bi-coastal Asian that lives in LA and NYC, it's facts. Someone said, I'm a New Jersey Taiwanese that moved to the West Coast. It is a different breed, man. So these were the people, the comments that were, were in agreement with the meme. I think part of it is a visual bias that... When in New York, you will see more of every type of person. So when you see a bunch of rich international fob Asians or you see a bunch of studious Harvard, Columbia, Cornell Asians, like you're just going to see each other a lot more in New York City versus in California. You can go to different neighborhoods and different worlds. You go to you go to San Jose, you go to Fresno, you go to Stockton, yeah. you go to uh, Westminster. Like you're just like, whoa, I'm zapped into these different worlds. But then you can also go to places in California that are completely different. Palisades, yeah. uh, Pacific Palisades. Yeah. You can go to San Marino. Right, you those are full of very, very preppy Asians. Cupertino. Like when I meet somebody from Palos Verdes, I'm always like, yeah, this is how my natural voice is, but I'm Asian, <laughs> but I grew up in PV. <laughs>
You know what I mean? mean? Like, this, this is just the PV accent. So it's like, it's so variable. I will say this, though. The one thing about Manhattan is that, like, it's already, like, a exclusive Equinox. Like, you, who you see get into the Equinox is, like, already way different. You know what I mean? It's already, like, pre-filtered. You have to have an Equinox subscription to, to get in the Equinox. Saying, like, the barriers of entry, you know? Yeah, yeah. So it is very, um, very it's very different to com uh, compare it to, like, a locality where people are, like, naturally, organically being born and raised in a community. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think that these are the two more... Yeah, I mean, I just think it's a funny meme based in some shred of truth. Uh, but, yeah, well, obviously... Well, I guess, what do you hope to have be the outcome because some people are taking it super serious arguing other people are just posting laughing emojis but it's on Asians with attitude obviously let's be honest Asians with attitude I would say at least for the moment where everybody's on that Instagram page they're trying to put like toughness or street smarts at a paramount priority yeah versus you know what I mean uh geek smarts yes I, I agree um but geek but smarts is more useful I guess in a Probably yeah. more, but, uh, it depends. But you that's know? why I appreciate this page, you know? It's uh, another it's a perspective. perspective. It's another perspective. So, all right, everybody, let us know in the comments down below. Do you find this meme triggering? Is it true at all? What is true about it? And have you spent time with both California and New York Asians? You know what my hope is, man? It's just that everybody can just laugh about it because, of course, everybody gets born into a different family, a different tribe, a different breed of dog or whatever you want to mm -hmm. call it. And it's like... I just hope people can build camaraderie by talking about differences, laughing about it, and getting over it, and then just, like, you know, hopefully being cool with each other. All right, everybody, check out Smala Sauce. It is shipping right now. Look at this brand-new label. It's clean. Hoping to get into some local New York stores soon. All right, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know in the comments down below what you think about all this. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.